Well, hello again, everybody. This is Brett Barron here coming at you with another Bible review. And before I get started, I just wanted to kick us off with a little bit of scripture. This is uh, in 2 Timothy, and it's um, uh, verse 15 through 16. Um, a little bit starting before verse 15, but it says, Paul writing to Timothy, he says, You, however, continue in the things you have learned and become convinced of, knowing from whom you have learned them, and that from childhood you have known the sacred writings, which are able to give you the wisdom that leads to salvation through faith, which is in Christ Jesus. All scripture is inspired by God and profitable for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness. So I really like that scripture and, and I love Bibles. I love reviewing Bibles and that scripture always just <clears throat> reminds me of how important it is to have, have the word of God and really respect it. And, you know, I really believe in the inerrancy of scripture really truly do believe it and I hope you do too and if you don't I challenge you to read the Bible you know research it with an open mind and and a sincere heart and you'll find that it is an inerrant it's the infallible inerrant Word of God so today I have the Allen NASB R1PB or the petrol blue New American Standard Bible in petrol blue goat skin it's got these beautiful sky blue ribbons three of them this is a limited edition um, they only made a few of these and you can see here this is an allen first edition so it is a collector's item um, on the nasb's if you if you go back and look uh, on some of my other videos you'll see i reviewed the New Classic Readers or the NCRs, which is this same type of Bible, but only in ESV, New Classic Readers. And in that one, um, they have a little bit of a different cover here. They did the tooling or the like the um, these tooling lines around. They did two of them around the app. And this is a semi app, as you can see here. It's pretty nice, actually, but they almost touch. Yeah, actually, they do touch. Whereas on the NCR, I think they overlap just a little bit. And there's only one, one tooled line around the edge there. Um, this is a Highland goat skin. It's, it's a nice river grain goat skin and does have a generous yap. The spine, look at the spine here. It's very cleanly done. They've got the tooled uh, ribs here. And uh, Holy Bible, New American Standard and their Allen logo down at the bottom. Moving inside, you can see it is goat skin. And this is a, I think this is a calf skin inner liner here. It may be a, it may be a synthetic type material, but I believe it's cat, uh, calf skin. They pasted, instead of stitching, just like Allen does on all their Bibles, they paste the cover around the front and back. It is edge lined of course so this this inner cover does go up under these heavier cardstock pages so you can see there's two of them there and that's why they're stuck together like that that is normal it does have the perimeter gilt line for just an extra detailed touch of beauty there they have their typical presentation pages, children, deaths, births. This is the very front page here, so you can see it's published by R.L. Ellen and Son, printed and bound in the Netherlands by Youngblood. The paper is a 36 GSM coated paper. Um, this does lay flat just like you're going to find in all the Allens, there's, it doesn't get any better than, a, than an R.L. Allen if you're familiar with premium Bibles. Um, they do the best binding, Bible binding I've ever seen. Um, it's just really, really exquisite. Um, they take text blocks like this one and then they rebind them. They have them printed by Youngblood and, and they, they rebind them. Um, they always lay flat and that's one of the trademarks of Allen Bibles. They do uh, what's called an overcasting in a lot of these Bibles where you'll find kind of a, a line of stitching after a few pages. 
here and that's one of the things that helps it lay flat but you can see this this Bible does lay flat in Genesis 1 just like that so beautifully done the text block is not line matched um, but I gotta say I was pretty impressed with the opacity of this paper and the ease of reading um, even though it's not line match it's hard to tell that it's not really it's it's really beautiful I do like the verse by verse format that they they do with this NASB very nice layout um, it's easy to find it's easy to use in church and it's easy to find a verse that you need to reference when the when the pastor or your teacher is referencing it so I like the center column references in this Bible. The, um, of course it is red under gold art gilt edging, edging here. The measurements on this Bible are 10 inches from top to bottom and I'm always doing outside dimensions on these dimensions. 10 inches and then it's uh, 6 and 7 eighths inches, almost 7 inches wide. And like I said an inch, an inch thick here. Not too heavy, it's, it's a, maybe just a little bit more than three pounds. And when you open it up, it is from this end of the page to this end of the page, it's 11 and a half. So pretty handy, pretty handy Bible. Um, even though it's not line match, like I said, it is, it is easy to read and it's got a 10 point font inside here. Um, so pretty easy, pretty easy Bible to read even though it's not line matched. In terms of features on this Bible, um, they do give you, they don't give you a whole lot. There's a, there's a concordance back here. You can see, this, this, I don't know if you can hear that, but this is the typical Allen, Allen squeak. <laughs> I hear that in these Allen Bibles. It's kind of unique to the Allen, to the Allens. It's, it's funny that actually the, the larger Allens, the NCR and the NASB, I don't hear it in the ESV one. Um, but I think it has to do with just this this Highland goatskin. It's just a real nice, real nice thick piece of leather, and it's just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful binding. I gotta say, I, it's I never they never cease to amaze me with their bindings. Every one of these Allens that I review, the bindings are just perfect, and the covers are just perfect with attention to detail. Um, that's second to none. So anyway, back to the features. It does have uh, does have a concordance, as you can see here. And then they've got their maps, some Oxford maps back here. These, what's funny about these maps is that the, the, the writing is kind of blurry on these. I don't really know why that is. It's, it's odd. See, the, the, the letters and the numbers and stuff, are they've got kind of a blur to them. They're not the best, not the best maps, but they're Oxford. They're very handy Oxford maps that are very usable. And then, of course, you've got the lined paper that Alan does. In this case, they've, they've done the, uh, the dual column lined paper, and some of them they own. Um, I'll go ahead and rank this for uh, my Barron's Bible Rankings system. I have a, a link below to the description and tutorial on how that works. It's designed to identify Bibles that are both um, have maximum readability and maximum portability. So obviously, those are two things that are mutually exclusive, and uh, so Bibles that have a good, um, that do a good job with both of those two categories will rank high in this system. In portability, I give this a two and a half. So it's uh, from one to five, I give this a two and a half. The reason I didn't score it a little higher is just because it is a limited edition. So it's an Allen first edition. So um, I think it's, it's, it's gonna be, uh, I would be more hesitant to take this, carry this around all the time with me because it is a, a limited edition. For readability, I give it a four and a half. It is very readable. Ten and a half, even though it's not line matched, it's very hard to tell that there is ghosting on this. Actually, I don't even care that it's not line matched because it's so easy to read. Um, there's hardly any show through. There's hardly any show through here at all. So four and a half on readability. Cover and binding, it gets a four and a half. Um, it, you know what, it, it's borderline five. This is just a beautiful cover and binding. I. 
for me, just personally, I prefer a darker blue, like a navy blue or a royal blue cover. This is what they call a petrol blue, but it is unique and it was a limited print, so it's, it's kind of cool. And if you like that color, then you'd probably give this a 5 out of 5 easily for cover, for cover and binding. Um, and it, it is, I mean, I probably should give it a 5. I, I don't know. I, it's just, for me, it's, I think, also the river grain is a bit, um, even though it's beautiful and probably the best, some of the best leather you'll ever find. I prefer it a bit softer, more in, uh, along the lines of a Cambridge uh, Concord. That if you ever see those goat skins, they're just really, really soft. So this is just a bit rough for me, but um, I don't know. It, it could have gotten a five just as easily as a four and a half in terms of cover and binding. On design and creativity of the text block, um, I give it a four. Um, if it was line matched, it would easily get a five. Um, or maybe a four and a half and then if they did some kind of some cool cool designs you know cool attention to detail like you'd find in the Skylers where or like the the, the uh, chapter numbers are a different color or just there's little little things you can do inside the text to make it very very nicely designed and just kind of give it that extra little touch of creativity so a four in design and creativity beauty and craftsmanship that's just overall beauty and craftsmanship I take everything into consideration um, yap, um, stamping, if it's got ribs, if it lays flat, the gilt line on the inside, and then the ribbons. And this gets a five. I mean, it doesn't get any better than, than an R.L. Allen when it, in terms of beauty and craftsmanship. And I think almost all the R.L. Allens I've reviewed get a five on that. It's absolutely exquisite. Unique features, I rank it a four. Um, it does have the line paper, which is a unique feature. And it does have maps and it does have a concordance. So um, it doesn't get a five. It doesn't have introductions. Um, if, it had, if it had introductions and it had maybe some illustrations in the back, um, or maybe a map index, I'd give it a five. But uh, it does score pretty high with a four in terms of unique features. And then the last category is rarity. And how rare is it? Well, this Bible is very rare. So that scores a five in that. So if you add it all up, it's a 29 and a half, so almost a perfect 30. This one ties um, with the, in my ranking system, with the uh, Skyler New King James Version in Imperial Blue. That got a 29 and a half in my ranking system, and this ties that. So it, it's higher in some areas and lower in other areas, but overall, that is so close and it's so subjective to my opinion. Um, if you know, if I wasn't so concerned about it being a limited edition, then it would have gotten a 30. If um, if I didn't, uh, if I liked this River Grain, let's say, better than the Cambridge, then it would have gotten a, an extra half a point, which would also score it a 30 there. Um, if uh, the uh, port, the uh, excuse me, the readability, um, if I didn't care about line matching so much, so if you're a person that doesn't care about line matching. That would have gotten an extra um, half a point, which have also would have scored a 30. So I do the rankings really as a way for people to actually apply that to their own preferences. So um, I tell you what I prefer, and you may have different preferences. So I think the cool thing about the ranking system is that you can actually take it and use it um, according to your tastes and likes and dislikes, just like I do. So that's the R.L. Allen uh, petrol blue in NASB limited edition uh, one of the most beautiful Bibles um, I've ever seen so hope you enjoyed the review please like and subscribe and uh, may grace and peace be with you all